Get ready for the ultimate immersive experience with Apple's Reality One. Featuring two crystal clear 4K resolution screens, spatial audio, and 10 tracking cameras powered by the M2 chip, this headset is set to blow your mind. Apple has a reputation for introducing products that disrupt the tech industry and change the way we live and work. The iPhone, released in 2007, kick-started the smartphone market. The iPad in 2010 revolutionized the tablet industry. And the Apple Watch in 2015 became the best-selling watch in the world one year after its release. Apple is now set to unveil its mixed reality headsets in 2023 adding to its impressive portfolio of game-changing products. The headset was originally set to launch in 2022. Unfortunately, due to production problems and software-related issues, the headset's reveal has been delayed, but is likely to debut in the second half of 2023. While popular VR headsets such as the Oculus or MetaQuest have dominated the VR market, it's very possible that Apple will become the new golden standard for what VR technology should look like. So, what exactly is the Apple Reality One headset? Well, for one, Apple is not just creating a VR headset, but a mixed reality headset with augmented reality capabilities. For those who don't know, Augmented reality combines elements from the real world with computer-generated content. Though not much is known about the many features that may come with Apple's mixed reality headsets, any leaked features may just end up on the finished product. Apple is set to release a powerful mixed reality headset featuring the M2 chip, known for powering the 2022 MacBook Pro. Because of that, many are saying that Apple is making one of the most, if not the most sophisticated headset on the market. The new headset will have beaming technology, allowing AR and VR content to be directly projected into the user's retinas. Apple is also bringing two high-resolution 4K micro OLED displays with up to 3,000 pixels per inch, which will be the highest resolution display ever featured in a mass-market product. For comparison, the MetaQuest 2 only has 773 pixels per inch. The headset will have over 10 cameras placed inside and outside the headset for eye tracking object tracking, and hand gesture controls to provide a more realistic interactive experience. Apple is set to unveil a new operating system specifically designed for the mixed reality experience known as the XR OS, formerly known as Reality OS. XR OS will offer mixed reality versions of popular Apple apps, including Safari, Messages, Apple TV, Maps, and FaceTime. In addition, Apple will offer Siri, Search, and Shortcuts into the Mixed Reality environment. The software is just as crucial, if not more so, than the hardware itself, and XROS is sure to provide a seamless and intuitive Mixed Reality experience for users. Additionally, Apple is set to unveil its own version of the Metaverse at the 2023 WWDC event. The company has been hiring AR VR software development engineers, signaling its dedication to this new project. Now, let's talk about how much you will have to spend for a pair of these headsets. The popular MetaQuest 2 costs around $350, with the more advanced MetaQuest Pro costing more than four times that amount, at around $1,500. Considering that Apple has a history of charging a premium for their products, it is no surprise that their VR headset will likely cost around $2,000 to $3,000. However, to be fair, they could introduce the most advanced VR headset with AR capabilities. It can be fun to speculate about what Apple's finished product may look like and how it will change the industry. While many of its potential features are yet to be confirmed, it is safe to say that there will be heavy emphasis on both VR and AR environments. When it comes to AR in particular, it is likely that it will be geared towards learning and working by enhancing the environment around you. For example, AR can offer you a unique and immersive way to learn about astronomy. 
by superimposing virtual planets, stars, galaxies, and information onto the real world, AR can allow you to explore and interact with celestial bodies, learn their mass, compositions, how they were formed, and you can see how the positions of celestial objects change over time in a way that feels more natural and intuitive. Most VR headsets today are a bit bulky, but there have been reports that Apple may be changing that trend by creating a headset that is about the width of ski goggles and weighs just under a pound. Such a headset would make it easy to wear for long periods of time and may incentivize others in the industry to follow suit until wearing a VR headset is just as easy as wearing glasses. Anyways, the Apple Mixed Reality headset will surely change the industry for the better and will start the process of normalizing the use of AR and VR in everyday life. So you might ask, when will Apple reveal its new Mixed Reality headset? Well, it's likely that Apple will be revealing its new device before or at the 2023 WWDC, otherwise known as the Worldwide Developers Conference. While it is yet to be confirmed, after the past couple of delays, it is thought that Apple will start mass production of its mixed reality headset around the middle of 2023 and unveil the finished product later that year. Apple has already trademarked the names Apple Reality Pro and Apple Reality One, which suggests that at least one of those names will be announced as the official name of their headset. Marketing is always key to how Apple reveals their products. Considering the headset's expensive price point, it is doubtful that Apple will market it simply as a gaming device. Instead, it is likely that it will be marketed in a way that will make the headset seem useful in everyday life. One potential way they may do that is by promoting it as a workout device. By using both VR and AR technologies, working out can become a more entertaining and fun activity. For example, Imagine playing a Beat Saber type game where you need to constantly move, jump, and step in certain spots to hit every key. It is also possible that Apple will unveil it as a tool for business. Architects, for example, may be able to use it to create and experience their designs in mixed reality. Business meetings or even a get-together with friends can all be done in a virtual and interactive environment. Whatever it is, Apple is sure to market their device to a broader audience while still providing a top-of-the-line mixed reality and gaming experience. Though it is hard to know if Apple's mixed reality headset will drastically change the industry and the future of VR, it is safe to say that they will be introducing a whole new level of VR headsets. Personally, I can't wait to get my hands on one of these. How about you? Would you be willing to pay $3,000 for a mixed reality headset? Or do you think all those features are not worth that much? If you think the mixed reality headsets will be impressive, wait until you hear about the coming Apple car.